This is Andrew Stotts of A. Stotts Investment Research talking about world-class benchmarking for the company TPC Power Holding in Thailand. Let's get a little background on the company. First of all, TPC Power Holding Company Limited focuses on electricity generation and distribution from biomass. It plans to expand to other renewable energy sources as well. TPCH has investments in seven main subsidiaries and holds majority stakes in six of them, all in Thailand. The company also provides supporting services to its subsidiaries. Let's get a look at the company right now. The company's market cap is 200 million US dollars with about $1 million in average daily turnover. The beta of the company is about two times, though we only have a short history over time. The company is 41% owned by Thai Polycons, which is a listed company in Thailand. And let's get a little background on what's going on at the company. It's centered around power generation and distribution from biomass. TCPH owns the biggest biomass power plant group in Thailand. Its main revenue is dividends and servicing fees from shares in its subsidiaries, as well as income from providing supported services to them. T TCPH, oops, my mistake, sells and distributes the energy generated through PPAs and similar contracts. Actually, it's an interesting model when you think about it. You get dividend income from your subsidiaries and you get servicing fees from them also. Now, the subsidiaries, Manwong Energy is 85% owned, Chang Rak Biopower 73% owned, uh, Tung Sung Green, 65% owned, and Maha Chai Green Power, 46% owned, already operate with around 10 megawatts capacity each. Pat Patani Green, 65% owned, Patalung Green, Satun Green Power are all under development and should have about 10 megawatts capacity each. TPCH has been conducting feasibility studies on projects and other renewable sources such as hydro, wind, solar, and waste. The company is open to having the entire investment or participating in a joint venture. Within two years, the company is set to start up a hydro production plant in Laos with a capacity of 80 megawatts and two more biogas plants. Let's look at the revenue breakdown. Operating capacity by plant. The max capacity is 10 megawatts for each. Mawong is 8 megawatts. Tung, Song, Tung Sung Green Power is 9 megawatts. Chang Rak Bio Power is 9 megawatts. Maha Chai Green Power is 8 megawatts. The revenue breakdown is electricity sales, and then there's an adder subsidy, subsidy rate related to government subsidies. Let's look at the company's world class benchmarking score. First, who is the chairman? The chairman is Dr. Tanu. Gulaton, who's the independent chairman since 2013. And the MD is Mr. Churchak Watana Widget Gun, who's been there since 2012 to the present. So let's look at the score. Profitable growth improved to number one and then from a number seven. That's impressive. It ranks among the best 14 of 100 small, 140 small utility companies worldwide. Profitability improved to above average, but growth drives the rank improvement. It's at a number one. Sales growth and margin change both contributed to a better growth rank. Asset utilization was relatively low, but I suppose that will come up over time, and profit margin has been improving every period. So a very good job and a good past 12 months. Sign up for our free newsletter and get instant access to more investment knowledge at becomeabetterinvestor.net slash join. See you there.